Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. No, we're not on the usual set, which is like over that way. Um, because uh, I have so much information I need to read for this video that I needed to be sitting right here so I can literally show you and read it directly to you. Uh, all of this information is going to be uh, verifiable, sourced, linked in the description, and I need to give credit to a certain someone for gathering it because that's the hardest work of making these YouTube videos is gathering information. So today, we're actually going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch Pro. I realize if this thing exists, if it comes out, it's not going to be called Switch Pro. It's going to be like new Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch OLED Plus Edition, Super Switch, something like that. Uh, the Pro moniker is just a commonly used term that us fans use because PlayStation uses it. Um, and it feels weird to be like, oh yeah, it's going to be the Nintendo Switch Series X or something. I don't know, like Nintendo Xbox One X thing. So yeah, Pro is just a moniker we use. It's common in the tech field. Not going to be the name. I just wanted to preface that because some people get confused thinking that's what we're saying this thing's going to be called. That's not what it's going to be called. That's just our way of referencing it right now. And I'm going to be talking to you about this today because it's likely coming sooner than you think. And no, we're not talking about a brand new next generation Switch, which we also know is probably in development. Uh, and we're going to provide all the evidence and sources and show it right to you. And we actually have new information coming out of NVIDIA that really shows this thing might be in mass production right now. Like, think about that. Right now, for an imminent release this holiday. I know, crazy, we just got the OLED last year. I know all the doubts. Switch is selling out. Yada, yada, yada. I get it, okay? Killer lineup this year. No need for new hardware. Some people think we need even more powerful hardware right now. I get it. I already know what some of the responses to this video are going to be before I even present you this information. A lot of you are going to say, no, I just got my Switch OLED. I don't need new Switch hardware. Some of you are going to say, Wah, wah, wah. We need next generation stuff, not this mid-gen refresh. And some of you are going to say, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. Bottom line is nobody can be satisfied. Some of you are going to be screaming fake and down in the comments. I can already think of a few usernames that's off the top of my head. They're going to be doing that. Here's what I don't want to happen. I don't want people attacking each other over opinions. I'm just going to present to you this information, give you my thoughts on it, and let you guys go to town. Now, if this is the first time you've watched my channel, I would appreciate if you would subscribe. Uh, and by the way, hey, uh, I care about the subscribers so much that we're actually giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one of our subscribers this month. All you have to do is head down to the pinned comment in the description or the, oh yeah, no, the pinned comment or the description and click on that gleam.io link. All right, let's, let's just get into this and let's start with where I'm getting this information all from. All of it is going to be sourced. This is not just me pulling opinions out of my butthole. So as you see here, I am on a place called Famiboards.com. This is a very popular Nintendo fan forum. It has some industry insiders and stuff like that here. There's also de game developers. It's basically like NeoGAF and Reset Era, but just for Nintendo stuff. Although they do dabble a little bit in, in PlayStation and Xbox. So what we're focusing here is on this post right here and a thread about uh, Nintendo hardware technology, speculation, and discussion. Uh, so this is all about what's coming up for Nintendo. And uh, this person named Old Puck on here put together a really detailed post, uh, the sourcing everything that we're going to go through. So he responds to this cover says, the information we have is not of an imminent releasing console. Okay, that's what they're saying. This information is about next-gen consoles. Old Puck actually has a response to this that says, well, I don't know that first, there were leaks of a console a year ago. So let's open that up. And of course, it's Bloomberg, and it says Nintendo Switch model is planned uh, we go get your Nintendo Switch plans, a Switch model with bigger Samsung OLED display. Again, we did get that technically, but that was the first thing. And they talked about a 4K Switch in that thing. And then with confirmation that dev kits have been placed from other insiders. So we have confirmation from Imran Khan, by the way, completely independent of Bloomberg. This is someone who used to work at Game Informer saying, it's funny, I was talking to some people today who were like, there's enough people with dev kits that leaks should happen any day now. Guess it didn't even take that long. That was back in March of 2021. So there were dev kits supposedly for a new Switch back then. Notably, you wouldn't need dev kits for an OLED Switch. You would need dev kits if there's new hardware. So that is according to Imran Khan. That was early last year. Nintendo confirmed Switch to have roughly a seven year life cycle. So Furukawa on ensuring Switch has a long life cycle and approach to developing new hardware. 
It says, looking back on the DS and Wii, those systems uh, peaked about four years in their life cycles. How is the Switch shaping up so far? As the Switch enters its fifth year on the market, again, this summit last year, uh, one of our focal points is ensuring it has a long life cycle. It's very important to us that customers continue to enjoy playing the Switch. This includes Switch owners who bought the console at launch, all the way through, through those who have bought it recently with Animal Crossing. So we'll provide new gameplay experiences for all Switch owners. Okay, so if you wanted, uh, what st steps can you take to extend it? Um, the Switch is right around the middle stage of its life. Again, we've heard them say that a bunch of times. Uh, do you have a, a, a consoles with a target time period? We never consider when to release consoles. We're always doing technical and market research, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So basically the inference of seven years is that if it was the first time in the middle of its life cycle back at five, you know, entering the fifth year, that it would be coming to a close in seven. That's more speculative, but at least it's evidence that Nintendo was talking about the life cycle back then. All right, uh, but game developers are under the impression that this is a revision. So actual developers. Uh, so this comes from Nate Drake. And it says, I cannot emphasize how vehemently, this is back in July of last year, I disagree with this just because you have access to a dev box doesn't mean F all when it comes to knowing how Nintendo uh, plans to market the device, especially when you likely have no idea what Nintendo themselves plans to release at or near the future. Uh, and Nate Drake says, these games are being made for Switch and also with these new dev kits. Could they be cross-gen? Maybe. But no one I've talked to, talked with is under the impression they are working on next-gen hardware. Could it change? Of course. Anything can change. And Nintendo can pivot. So according to Nate Drake, Nate the Hate, etc., uh, yeah, we are, you know, it, it, what the devs are, are working on was revised Switch hardware, a revision. Okay, that was July of last year. Um, and then that implied, obviously, a release of last year or this year. And then Insiders um, here... Uh, confirmed with the DLSS leak and everything uh, from NVIDIA that it indeed was supposed to come last year. Okay, cool. So there's been some confirmation that there was some sort of Switch hardware in the works. Developers have been have been uh, working on it uh, for at least a year, and there was high impressions that it was supposed to release in 2022. If not then, this year. Okay, that's all stuff from last, from, from last year. So uh, besides the DLS has to leak, that was this year. So it's stuff like this, uh, vague hardware scales 4K, except the chip is based on an SOC that leaked eight months ago. Want proof? Here we go. Cop Copite 7 Kimi uh, says, uh, this is preliminary picture of the T234 on Wikipedia, very clear. So why do we always guess? Nintendo will use a custom I was the T239. So this was obviously leaked last year. Okay, cool. So we have a leak of new hardware already right there. And then ray tracing leaked seven months ago. Uh, so this came from Nate Drake again. Says an NVIDIA conference today was so we get more news on the Orin says Justin. RTX was something the dev kits from late 2020 had featured, but it was limited form of RTX. Another piece of the puzzle fits. I expected more from Portugal and Euro. So basically, yeah, there was something in 2020 in the dev kits that featured RTX. Basically, that's what we learned there. Okay, cool. Uh, NVIDIA hack confirms all the essential details of the hardware, most of which came from the same sources, say in 2022 release date. So this hack here that we have had uh, NVIDIA confirm and everything, and they were being held for ransom. Again, this happened this year, and it confirmed all the exact details of the 4K, the ray tracing, etc. Essentially confirming that everything the leakers said last year was true, which heavily would have implied a release last year, which is why you know, people like Takashi Machizuki at Bloomberg thought it was coming last year. Game developers thought it was coming last year. Okay, fine. Um, NVIDIA begins production of chips. So this is new news. This is the new news that dropped yesterday. And this is important because NVIDIA has this, um, this, th this whole process in place uh, where they release information publicly. And NVIDIA Corporation, it says, is boosting the, its initiative to empower artificial intelligence technology for building autonomous vehicles or AVs. Now, remember... Nintendo Switch uses a chip that is used in autonomous vehicles already. So their chipsets heavily based around the same chips that they put in vehicles in cars. Um, so Nintendo Drive Orin is a system on chip SOC. Uh, basically, they are ramping up production of the Orin chips. Now, the Orin chips are the ones that are rumored to be in this Switch Pro. All right. So let's, let's close that. So that's confirmation that NVIDIA is actually mass producing the chips that Nintendo would end up using in the Switch Pro right now. Um, so, or a vague development details, some companies have dev kits. We haven't gotten any specific information from leaks, like specific games that are getting ready for the console. Oh, we haven't? Some companies include specifically Zynga. Again, this links to where the 11 companies, including Zynga, uh, that's the only named company that Bloomberg did name. Bloomberg named 
Zynga as a company with a dev kit. And then, um, and then they are planning to release these games during late 2022. Developers are making games for Nintendo 4K console that doesn't exist yet. Um, and then there's some games in here, specifically ones that Zynga is making in this Bloomberg article. And I, I love how Bloomberg makes some articles public and some not. It's always, it's always a good time. Uh, anyways, all this will be linked down below. In fact, I'll just link to this post and you guys can follow the sources from there. Uh, we did get some specific hardware details recently, um, but this was from a hack, not a leak, from some source at the company like Ubisoft or EA or whatever. Again, Zynga went on record with Bloomberg and then later denials were shown to be crafted around obvious loopholes. So this is from David Gibson. He's a very reliable industry insider. My Lord, I, ca I can't sing David Gibson's praises enough. He says, so Nintendo say that A, they are not supplying tools for a 4K switch. Technically correct, as tools are often made by a silicon studio. So Nintendo wouldn't even be the one supplying the tools. And B, no plans for new models besides OLED. Technically correct, is that is all that they've actually announced. So why would they be talking about stuff that's unannounced? There are always new models coming. So basically the holes are poked in what Zynga said because Zynga didn't say anything that's technically incorrect when they denied, quote unquote, denied the reports because the way they worded their statement would be exactly how Nintendo would word their statement. There won't be any factual inaccuracies in that statement trying to deny it from Zynga because the things they're talking about or that are in the reports are things they're not actually able to discuss. So the things they denied publicly are the same sort of lines that Nintendo would say. So really much to do about nothing when Zynga denied it. All right, so from this we can glean that the console probably will still be a ways away. And then the response to this was, here's what we actually can glean from all the available information. Leakers have consistently said three things. 4K based on modern DLSS capable NVIDIA hardware with limited ray tracing support. It's positioned as a revision and it was supposed to release in late 2022. The NVIDIA leak, the, the factual thing that we know happened that we've already discussed, confirms two things. 4K based on modern DLSS capable NVIDIA hardware with limited ray tracing support, exactly what was reported last year, confirmed by the NVIDIA leaks. All those reports from last year were factually things that were in development for a new Nintendo Switch. We already have that confirmed. This information is not even deniable. NVIDIA themselves confirmed this leak, okay? And then Zynga devs, oh, uh, sorry, software internals are a revision of the Switch. And that is something that we were able to see based on software, um, you know, hacking and, and, and data mining of the software that makes references to this hardware. Didn't know exactly what the hardware was confirmed until this year. However, all the references are that it's a revision, not brand new operating system, brand new software uh, for a brand new switch. All of it pointed towards a revision. Uh, so it heavily implies the leakers were correct about the planned release date because if they were 100% correct about the 4K DLSS limited ray tracing, why the hell wouldn't they be correct at anything else they said? So it kind of infers, yeah, there was a plan at one point where Nintendo was releasing this, this hardware, software, whatever, last year. And then it's backed up by NVIDIA's announcement of the production schedule. So again, if that was supposed to happen last year, but due to chip delays, it's happening this year. The production schedule puts it in line to release later this year. And obviously the Dinga Dev State a release target for their game. And the release target for their game that supposedly needs this new technology, uh, that Star Wars Hunters game or whatever, is later this year. So when you package all of the information together, what you end up with is a Switch Pro coming in 2023. Now look. This is not confirmation that this is happening, okay? So I want to be clear here. This video is not here to be like, guys, this is happening. Everyone gets super hyped. What it is doing is pointing out the rumors and reports combined with the fact-based information from NVIDIA's leak that backs up those rumors and reports from last year and the additional information that came from those rumors and reports that can't be confirmed because a lot of them said we were getting it last year. But we now know that, you know, the NVIDIA announced the Orin going into mass production this year when we know from previous NVIDIA events they wanted to go into mass production last year. So that could have a lot to do with it because Orin is supposedly the chip with all of these features that was going to be used on a Switch Pro. So if it's going into mass production this year to go into vehicles, you could presume that part of that mass production could be for Nintendo as well. And if you can you know, believe that these dev kits exist because all of this information about the dev kits, the 4K, the DLSS, partial ray tracing, 
came from insiders and people like Bloomberg claiming that dev kits existed. And then NVIDIA's own leak came out. They got hacked. It was leaked. We can confirm there is a 4K DLSS with partial rotation switch somewhere in existence. We know that it actually exists. It's not even a rumor. We know it leaked that this product is real. The presumption, including mine, when that leak came out, was this must be next gen. This must be a device coming in 2027. Except it's supposedly based on Ampere, just like Orin, which is not Lovelace, their new technology coming out, which could lend credence to a two-year-old technology being mass produced today, heading into a brand new Switch device. And if you combine and pack together all the rumors and reports with the fact-based information, it all sort of lines up that we are still getting a Switch revision and it's coming this year. Now again, none of this is confirmed. None of this is known. I'm just presenting to you the information and the timeline in which it came on with a massive credit to old puck over at famiboards.com. So you guys let me know what you think about all this. I think it's really, really fascinating. Obviously, I love technology, so I love when new things come out. I'm not one of those people that get mad when, you know, I just got the iPhone 13 Pro Max and all of a sudden the iPhone 14 will come out next year and be significantly better. Like, I don't get mad about that. It doesn't bother me. If I really want those features, I'll buy that then too. You know, I'm fortunate enough that I can do that or I'm willing to trade things in to afford new stuff. So that's just the report today. That is the new information today. And let me know your thoughts. Again, I don't have any inside information. I don't have any inside sources on this. I'm just presenting information that's publicly available. You guys do with it what you will. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljans from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry the studio looks a little messy. We're in a little bit of chaos right now as I'm getting things set up. Um, you know, we have a lot of plans for E3. I, I can't wait to share some of it with you guys. We, we got some exciting stuff coming your way, but um, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer to hear about that uh, as we're locking everything in. Uh, but I am I, I can tell you this. We now have a shipping department. So uh, all of the physical prizes during E3 should be shipped out by the end of June because I'm no longer managing the shipments. A uh, big issue last year was that not only was I managing the entire show and all the partnerships, I was also managing all the shipping while still trying to produce content. And it was really hard for me to keep the channel going at the same rate I am while also on top of it trying to manage everything. I'm a solo act, right? I edit all my own videos. I record all my own videos. I do all my own research. I title everything. I create all the thumbnails. Um, I also end up handling all the shipping, all the PR, all the giveaways, all the live streams. I do everything. And it's just overwhelming with an event like that to bring on all the extra responsibility and then deal with all the shipping on top. So I actually have a shipping department now at Nintendo Prime specifically for that event. Um, I mean, that shipping department might just be my fiance, but hey, it's still something, right? All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.